Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. Let's get started. Okay, first of all, I'd like to thank the good people over there at uh, Power Queen for sending the, this to me. And today what we're gonna look at is 100 watt solar panel, portable, fold up. Also, this solar panel came very well packaged. It had a piece of foam that was about three inches across. It was in the middle, one at each end, so there was airspace in between the sides of the box and the solar panels, plus the protective cover that's on the solar panel. Let me get things rearranged and we'll see what's inside. Okay, so it comes in this nice carry bag. It's got a handle, a little Velcro thing to keep the two handles together. Two zippers. I like to zip them about oh, three quarters of the way down each side. That way when you put it back inside, it's a little bit easier. And it goes in sideways. So let me just pull this out. We'll set this aside. If you notice, it has its two handles up here. The handles have magnets in them to hold them together. It has these uh, legs also. Same thing, magnets hold these in there. The magnets could be just a little bit stronger, but they, they hold well enough. And once it's in the bag, it doesn't really matter. Inside here we have the connections. We actually have an instruction manual from Power Queen. Got a bunch of information in there. We'll look at that a little bit probably. And then it comes with one wire with MC4 connectors. And we'll get close ups of those someplace in the uh, video. These are really common. MC4s are, are one of the more common ones on your bigger, real, like, like your glass systems and stuff like that. So, but they can be adapted down. And I'll show you that. I have adapters that go from MC4 to MC4 to uh, XT60. XT60 is a really, really good uh, connector and used quite a bit for uh, solar panels. When you connect these, you need to make sure the red wire and the black wire, when you put the other one on, is the same. Okay, you, that's they can be messed up. Same with SAEs, power poles, and XT60s, usually you don't have that problem. Now, what I'll usually do is I'll, this, it comes, you see here, it comes out right here. And I will usually just take this and zip up the zippers to that point. And then this will go out the side. So let me open it for you. So it opens up to two panels. Two panels are 50 watts each. Hopefully you can see that. And then like I was talking here, these come back and hold it up. Now. For me, I would have rather had these over here just a little bit more in the middle of this, but it still works pretty well. Uh, there's a coating on this glass to protect it. Okay, that's real common, especially on these type of things. Not so much on your glass ones that you put on your house. Everything up here is riveted, so it looks pretty, pretty good, guys. It doesn't look like it's gonna fall apart. It has the holes up in the top and the bottoms to hang it if you wanna hang it someplace. All right, let's go, uh, we'll set it up and see how it works and uh, see if we can charge some stuff up. So here's a nice close-up of the uh, connectors. You have a male and a female, and you have the opposite, the male here and female there on the extension cord, okay? So that's a nice close-up of that. So here's the, the Power Queen product manual, 100 watt solar panel, portable. Shows all the dimensions and everything. It's 25.51 uh, inches tall, 21.26 wide, and it's about an inch, a little, little less than an inch uh, thick when it's closed up. So about half of that when it's open. So, and then when it's open, it's 51.2 inches wide, 
2126 tall still. And then it just shows you all the, the handle, the MC4 connector, five foot cable, storage bag, and tilt stands. Okay, there's the specs on it right there, guys. Shows you the angles. And on the back here, it shows you different ways of how the how you have connectors that you can get for these. It doesn't come with all those. And how you can put more than one in together here. So, so you can get 200 watts or then you need a power controller. The, uh, the one I hooked it into has its own power controller, the Blue Eddy that we'll, you'll see later. All right. All right, this is my Blue Eddy. It's an EB55, I'm gonna hook it up here. It has a MPBT charge controller. So let's hook it up. 40% is what we have on the Blue Eddy. And I did run it down purposely this last weekend, so it would uh, do a good draw on the solar panel. So we're up to 40 watts already. Now up to 62. And it's the MPBT is going to evaluate the solar power coming in and then uh, set its charge for it. So most of the time, these will not get, if it says 100 watts, it's not going to get 100 watts 99% of the time, uh, or a lot of the time. But uh, 65 is pretty good. There's a, uh, I forget the percentage of uh, efficiency. So that's, they're not 100% efficient most of the time. So, so that's not bad. That's probably about four, four amps there. Okay guys, I've got this hooked up to a uh, 100 amp hour battery now. And we'll push in. So we're, we're drawing 4.1 amps. That's not too bad. That's about what this thing should draw. All right. And this is this is a PWM controller. I'll go back to it. So 4.1 amps. And that battery is relatively charged. Let me change batteries real quick. Yeah, still the same. 4.1. And we're not quite maxed out, but we're 14. Six on the volts and now you see it stabilize. All right guys, so here's the back of the power queen You get the two uh, arms there that hold it up at different angles I'm not sure if I got the best angle Yeah, I would say those would have been a little bit better if they were a little bit more to the middle of each of these panels But it works They have magnets to hold them. I'll show you that stuff later Here's the Here's the other side of it Okay, really warm today. Okay, so I'm hooked up again. And I'm gonna let this thing charge. And use the solar instead of power from my house. Forget PEG and E today. All right, I'm gonna let this thing charge up guys and we'll get to the rest of the video. I don't know when it was totally full on charge, but I went out, there was, nothing was in the sun. I looked at it, I'm like, oh, well, it's already charged anyhow. Okay, guys, this is a really nice uh, solar panel. It's the, the construction of it is top notch. All the materials they use are really nice. The carrying case is nice that, you know, you keep it and put it away someplace, keep the dust and stuff off of it. All in all, a really good pack. I will have a price and a link down in the, uh, the description for you guys, I'm sure. Okay, so if you did get something out of this video, make sure you hit that like. That helps uh, YouTube find other people like you that are interested in the same type of products as you are. And if you are new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the uh, bell, hit all. That way you'll get all my future videos. I'm Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Ventures, 73 all.